nearly fell asleep at the wheel. Easy to do. Four hours sleep in the last 48. Yeah. I'll call for a record. Good thing I brought my AAA card. Bravo 6, this is Bravo 7. I got a five ton stuck in the sand. I've called for recovery, over. Bravo 7, this is Bravo 6. How long will it take, over? At least an hour, over. Roger that, stand by. Nighthawk 3, this is Bravo 6. We have a situation. Five tons stuck in the sand. Over. Keep the convoy moving. Get the others back on track as soon as possible. Roger that. Bravo 6 out. Bravo 7. Nighthawk 3 is maintaining convoy integrity. Over. Bravo 6, I've got no armor or combat units with us. Over. Roger that. I will stay behind and run security. You get that truck back on track ASAP. Over. Roger, Bravo 6, over. Bravo 6, no. Thank you, sir. They're going ahead without us. It looks that way. thing Bill ever gave to me. Yeah. First and second, we're moving out. Over. Some sand in your weapon, Craig? Baby wipes? Yeah. My wife sends them from home. Thanks. Another tip. A lot of soldiers put condoms on the end of their weapons when the wind's kicking up. Does your wife send you those, too? Nope.
We have our orders. We all know where we're going. And we all know what our job is. We change the tires. Supply the toilet paper. The fuel. The food. The maintenance for the American fighting machine. Without us, it doesn't run. How far can the Abrams travel on one gallon of fuel, soldier? 0.78 miles at full speed, sir. And where does it get its fuel? From the sir! Right. This is a plugger. It is a global positioning system device that will be issued on a priority basis to all companies. It will pinpoint your exact location. Give or take a couple of feet. <laughs> it's a part of our equipment, and we will rely on it. We will rely on our maps. We will rely on our NBC suits and our night vision. But most of all, we will rely on each other and our own common sense. Okay, stop. Nighthawk 3. This is Bravo 6 en route from Lizard. Nighthawk 3, respond. Nighthawk 3, respond. Why did you stop? Nighthawk 3, respond. Are we still at a range, sir? Yeah, it looks that way. There was supposed to be a manned traffic control point. What's he doing? I don't know. Take it easy, relax, privates. Sure. We're just uh, sitting out here in broad daylight in the middle of Iraq. You both said you thought it was a good idea. And I was the one I was standing here waiting for the bus to take you away. Look after your sister, Greg. Oh, we're not going to be stationed anywhere near each other. Two years, Dad. It'll be over before you know it. I can't believe you're going in the army. Just remember where you came from, Jesse. I will. You come home. GPS. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, damn. Is the memory battery down, sir? Yeah. Let me see the map again. Yes, sir. Highway 8 is route blue. Goes all the way to Baghdad. Yeah, but at some point we're supposed to divert to Ruth Jackson. You think this is it here, sir? It can't be. It's supposed to be a manned traffic control point. We continue on route blue. Yes, sir. Security. 
the Euphrates, First Sergeant? Yep. We're going into Nazaria? Looks that way. That, sir. I see it. All stations. Just passing Iraqi checkpoint. Two armed guards. They are holding their fire. Appear not aggressive. Lock and load. Remember the rules of engagement. Do not shoot into civilian areas unless you receive offensive fire. Expect some happy fire. We're liberating these people. I hope they know that. Sergeant? Yes. Stay calm. Weapons ready. Bravo 6, this is Bravo 7. Just spotted an armored pickup with an AK and a mounted machine gun moving parallel to the convoy. Down a side street at 3 o'clock. Probable Fedayeen. Over. This is all wrong. This is Bravo 6. We're going to retrace our route back to the original intersection. There appears to be a turnaround ahead that will accommodate the convoy. We will cross back over the bridge. We're going back through the city? Turn around. Right there, sir? Yes, it will handle the convoy. Amdur el Yami. Zen, Zen. Six, this is Bravo 7. What's the decision? Over. Waqif Atlah Al-Nar. 
Bravo 6, this is Bravo 7. Do you see an alternative route to the resistance forming ahead? Over. We will turn right 50 feet ahead. Close your distance and proceed with speed. Ready to return fire. Out. Go, 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 go! Sir. Stay 
focused, keep driving. They're taking fire, They're taking guys. Fire, Hold guys. your fire, those are us. <sighs> Go, go, go! Oh. Under the bus! Under the bus! Ah.
Welcome to my country. But if I, I go home school. now, I'll just be a little less broken when I left. One more hitch will get me enough money and life experience credits to get all the way through state college. Life experience is okay. Death, life experience is okay. It's the death experience credits I can do experience credits I can do without. Atil Bandar. Puri. Robert Sayer with the West Virginia National Guard. Are you Mrs. Greg Lynch? Mother of Private First Class Jessica Lynch? Yes. Ma'am, I have a very important message to deliver from the Secretary of the Army. May I please come in, Mrs. Greg? Lynch? Mr. Lynch? Hey, what do you want? Sir, the Secretary of the Army has asked me to inform you that your daughter, Jessica, has been reported duty status whereabouts unknown in Iraq. Oh. Since 23 March. As soon as we receive more information, you'll be promptly notified. <gasps> the secretary wishes to extend his deepest sympathy to you and your family during this period. I'm very sorry. <gasps> yes, Sabiri. I have both your books. See? Here's your favorite. Wow. Don't worry. Grandfather has trails at his house for you. It's just right, Sabiri. Just right. Mohammed, you look like you were lost. No, I'm, I'm looking for my wife. I know where she is. I'll ask someone to get her.
You don't want to go down there. Guards on the VIP ward. Who's in there? They're interrogating an American prisoner of war. She's one of several they captured a few days ago. She? I think two of them are in our morgue. Mohammed, those are Fedayeen down there. I know who they are. Do you know what I just saw? They were dragging my neighbor's dead body to the street. And do you know what her crime was? She waved, waved to an American helicopter. So I know quite well who the Fedayeens are. Mohammed, please. Dr. Hamida! Take them to court. This is a war, Mohammed. This is their business. Mohammed, you're early. Did you take up here to my father's? Yes. That was nice. Is that why you came to see me? I want you to come home. You want me to stop working? For a few days until the fighting is over. One of us has to keep working. The hospital is just about the only business still open in all of Nazria. I don't think it's safe. The Fedain and the Bath Militia are using this hospital as a command post. What if the coalition forces shell the building? They won't bomb a hospital. That's why the army is using it. I still think it is too dangerous. Did you see that girl in the special ward? The American soldier? What are you thinking? I think it is an injustice. She is just one woman. There are millions of her fellow soldiers marching on our country right now. To free us. They say. But our power and water go out. We can't get food. We are running out of medical supplies here. My father said that the Americans have made this into a new crusade. That they are ruining our country. When I look at that girl in that hospital bed, I think of our daughter. Would you want her treated that way? Do you really think that the Americans would treat her any better if she were a captured soldier? Two days ago, they killed an entire family at the checkpoint by the soccer field. I know. Whose side are you on, Mohammed? Our Zimani. I just want the best life for oh, us. Stop worrying about that one. Perhaps we should just leave this town. Oh, and go where? To your brother in Jordan? It's just, forgive me, this war is... It has me feeling the same way. It will be over soon. I have to get back to my shift. What is it? Arab TV sent this out an hour ago, Colonel. European press is already showing it all over the place. Five POWs. This is Sergeant James Riley. Oh, 507 surveillance company. How'd they get into Nazaria before I come back, troops? You come to kill. PFC Patrick Miller. I come to fix broke stuff. I'm told to shoot only if I'm shot at. They shot at me, so I shoot back. 
I don't want to kill anybody. Specialist Edgar they, Hernandez. My, na my name is Edgar from the United States. She knows Mitch. Specialist Shoshana Johnson. Shoshana. They're all from the 507 supply convoy that was ambushed just outside Nazaria. Texas? Also, there are nine other soldiers missing, okay. including two females, PFC Lynch and Specialist Piestawan. Find out where they're being held. I want to get our people out of there. Yes, sir. Out here, what do you want? I want to help you. I know, but American soldier being held. A, a girl, please. I have family. Please, please. 
Thank you. You're welcome. An Iraqi national? Yes, sir. Says he's a lawyer, sir. Well, where'd he come from? Walked out of the desert. Moses? No, sir. Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Corporal. Hi, right, sir. <clears throat> uh, get me C Flick online. Hamid. 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 Your husband. Mohammed? He's here. He's home. Your husband was seen after curfew. Oh, Mohammed, where's Daddy? No, please. Where is your husband, Miss Al Raif? I don't know. Take them. No, please. Please. I think that when we bring you to our station, you will remember where your husband is. Wait. Iman Hassan. What are you doing? Her husband was seen leaving the neighborhood after curfew. We are taking his family to our headquarters for questioning. You also wish to question a Rahif? Yes. Do you think he will return to his house if his wife and daughter are gone? Muhammad will return to his house. Where else can he go? If you leave his family here, I give you my word that when he returns, I will bring him to your station. You will bring him. All right, we'll release them to the station. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yalla. Recognize anyone here? This. This one. No others? She, only one I saw. But there might be others. Look. 
quite a thing. Okay. Perhaps. What was her condition? She, uh, very badly hurt. But I not think she's going to die. What was the nature of her injuries? I, I could not tell. She uh, was covered up. Was she receiving medical attention? There are doctors attending to her. But very, very busy. Many people hurt. And the, the Mustashva hospital is used The hospital has been used as a base for Fidayin and the party loyalists. Why did you come to us? I am not knowing what they're planning to do her. She look so helpless. So very young. I have daughter myself. Do you? It's very brave of you. I hope to help. Where did you learn English? My mother was English teacher at Basra University. Is where I got law degree. We'll be back in a few minutes. Would you like something to eat? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Raya hath pony. Yuri. Too good to be true. Walks in with the information we need. Could be a setup. Could have just walked up to our boys with a bomb strapped to him. Maybe he's telling the truth. What do you think he wants? Payday. Pretty big risk, that's why it's a bond. At least I'd buy it as a legitimate motive. I hope to help doesn't exactly do it for me. Well, in any case, we're gonna need some intelligence back up the story. We can assign predator surveillance to the hospital. I'll try to get an asset in the ground. In the hospital? Difficult. Not impossible. Enchilada. Lost your appetite? Yes. <laughs> An honest answer. Now you know, if Saddam's loyalists find out what you're doing here, they're going to kill your family. Your wife, your child. So tell me, why would you risk something like that? Where's the Joseph? For one American soldier. When I see her, my heart is cut. Allah says all life is precious, even Americans. We want you to go back to the hospital. You're Dr. John Mustache. We need an update on the POW's condition. We also need detailed descriptions of the four plans and the number soldiers, regular and fedaheen, that are stationed there. Now, if you can do that for us, we will guarantee the safety of your family. Can you do that? Yes. Yes.
Hold it. Where are you going? To my house. To your house? You're taking a shortcut? Huh? Taking a shortcut, huh? It's okay, stand over there. Hold a minute, let's go. Stand over there. Get in line. Yalla. Papers. Papers. Military ID. Where is your uniform, huh? Where is your weapon? Our, huh? our squad leader ran. He went away. Huh. I, I did, we, we, did, we didn't know what to do. I just took off my uniform to get back to the base through town. It's no problem. We have plenty here for you to try on. I have a pair of boots. I think they might be yours. You let me know if it fits, huh? Papers. Papers. More military ID. No uniform. Try that on for me, yeah? Papers. Where did you say you were going, Alarif? To my house. Oh. And where did you say you were coming from? My father's. Huh? My father's in an hazard. He's very ill. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. <sighs> Looks like it fits, huh? How about you, my friend, huh? How does it fit? Huh? Doesn't fit. Huh? Doesn't fit. It looks good. Walk around. Looks good. Must be yours. Looks like it fits. Okay, you can go. You can go. You. 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 And you. Free to go. You want to join us? Mohammed Al-Rahif. Al-Rahif. Do not go to your house. Hmm? Why not? The Ba'ath militia was there last night. The they, Fatima, were, they, were, they were looking for you. My family! I stopped them. I stopped the militia from taking them. I sent them away. Where? 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 They, they said you would know where they went, Mohammed. They said you would know where they went. Forgive me. Thank you. Please, Thank you. go away. My son, please go. You did what? I went to see the Americans. What? I told them about the girl. They'll kill us all for this. The militia has already come to our I house. I know, I know. 
The Americans will protect us. The Americans? The Americans? I don't see any Americans out here. I do see cars and buildings destroyed by Americans. Why didn't you tell me what you were going to do? I couldn't. You knew I would tell you it was insane. I knew you would tell your father. But what if I told my father? I said, what if I told my father? Do you think he would turn in my husband, the father of my child? See, money. See? This is what has become of our country. You can't trust anyone, not even those you love. This is why we have to leave. Oh, Mama. Look, it is too late to discuss this. What is done is done. And you've done it well. What is to become of us? We'll go to the Americans tonight. Have a beer ready. I'll be back before nightfall. Where are you going? I have to go back to the hospital. Why? I have to see how many Fedayeen are in the building. It will be too dangerous. They will be looking for you. I'll be fine. This is all your mother's fault. She poisoned your mind with those John Wayne movies she used to show you. This is real life, Mohammed! And I won't have Just my family! Just be ready to go when I get here! You are risking your life, all of our lives, for this girl. What is she to you? Nothing. And why? For her? Mama. Baba, what's wrong? Food specialist. Don't worry. Don't worry. I still can't believe you signed up. Well, if you really needed a job, you could have gotten a job at Walmart. Yeah. There were 50 applications ahead of mine just for part-time. The Army just seems so radical. I'm not going to be jumping, jumping out of helicopters. I'm going to be a supply, supply clerk. Hey. hey. I don't want to be in the Army for the rest of my life. life. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher. You know that. said food specialist. Food specialist?
stop moving. Shut this eye. You have to see a doctor. I can't tell. I'll be fine. Are you ready to go? No bags. It may arouse suspicion. We will take only what is on our backs. I will keep them safe. I will never see you again. I will never see my daughter my granddaughter again. Don't move. What do we tell them? Stay, stay calm. Oh my God, Daddy. It's okay, sweetie. Mohammed Al Raif. Oh. Yes. You're coming with us. It's okay. It's the Americans. Let's go. This is her room on first floor. This area of hospital used by military. Predator flyovers and satellite photos show we might be able to land on the roof. That's a bad idea. I land on the roof, but you have to go four flights down. And you have to walk the whole length of the hospital to get to her room. This is my wife, Iman. She nurses at the hospital. That's the main entrance. There's a parking lot right there. How big is it? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's the the room is down the hall from the base room on the right side. So this map is wrong. So the third door on the left side. That's the x-ray room. And that's the storage room. That's her room. Reminds me of my wife. Straight into the point. All right. Sills will be responsible for the extraction. Roger that. What support do we have? Rangers, you secure the perimeter. Mm -hmm. We got Predator drones online with two AC-130 gunships overhead. How many troops we got inside that hospital now? Well, last night, about 20 Fedayeen soldiers with clashing cough rifles. Not as bad as before. No, there's still too many inside. Agreed. 
We may need a little diversion. We own the entire west side of Nazaria. We could light it up, no problem. Sir, you have a call. Not now. It's CINCOM, sir. Yeah, Curry here. Yes, sir. Yes, we're just going over intelligence and some preliminary details now, sir. Understood. Gentlemen, get your teams online. We're going in tonight. She. Yalla! Yalla! a great level of interest in our mission kicking off as soon as possible. We're going to be watched on this one all the way through, from the White House on down. You worried? I'm always concerned when I have to send my men in harm's way. It's a good plan. We are taking a lot of this on the word of one man and his wife. Well, if it makes you feel any better, my people can't find any motive for them to lie. Our asset in the ground confirmed we can get the Black Hawk into the LZ. And most important, location of PFC Lynch is confirmed. At least until yesterday, she's still in there. And if she's bait, and this is just a setup? We've been there before. I hear that. Well, doesn't matter. We've got our orders. I'm going ahead anyway. That looks better than Bubba's. That's just because Friday is stopping. <laughs> is getting worse. We're going to amputate. Four hours ago, her blood flow was intact. There has been swelling. Increase the antibiotics. She still has enough viable tissue. We can save the leg. Her pulse is good. There's no reason. They want to move her. She can't be. She isn't in any condition to be. She is going to Baghdad. If you have to cut it off to move her, do it. Hamza, get my man outside. No! Do it. Prepare for surgery. Move it! Yellow! Yellow! 
Should be taking a ride up here. No resistance. So far. To me. You want the American girl? Yes, I do. Come on, there, move. There, I'm move. On the move. Come to me. Move. Go. Go. On second floor now. You must know something. They're taking him up to the third floor now. Clap. Calling the team leader in. America. That's it. That's it, boy. That's her. Bingo. Okay. Jessica. Jessica Lynch. We're United States soldiers and we're here to take you home. Are 15 minutes out. Okay, let's go. Let's get her out of there, boys. Coming out. Easy. Easy. Where are the other American soldiers? 
The others? Where are the others? Two in our morgue. The rest... Outside, on the other side of the building. Northeast corner. Let's go! Buried in the sand, not deep. Take it easy, take it easy. Come on. That's it. Charlie 26, coming out. Fifty feet to the bar, and we're looking real good. I'll have you back and land of the big PX in no time. Shovels. It could take up to two hours. Okay, bring them home. Roger that. That'll take us to daylight. for you to listen to. Curry here. We got them all. We're bringing them home. Roger that. Thank you. 
Joint Special Operations has recovered PFC Lynch and the bodies of nine of her fellow soldiers. When we say we never leave a man behind, it's not just words. Congratulations on the job well done. And thank you. Congratulations yourself, Colonel. Yeah. They'll probably say it never happened. <laughs> All right, people, let's get back to work. officials, it does not appear to be formidable. Additional mechanized infantry brigades continue to press toward Baghdad. Security major Lynch. Sam in the south, in line with the coalition yeah. strategy, to envelop an isolated Warplanes continue Listen, you sick bastard. I know it's April Fool Day, but this is your idea of a joke. It isn't funny one damn... The biggest obstacle encountered by the coalition forces what? has been mounted from irregular military... General who? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Had a good pen. Give me that name and number. Don't just give it to me. Okay. What? What? Okay. Uh, let me let me speak with General Brooks's office. This is Greg Lynch. I'm Jessica Lynch's father. Yeah. They found her. She's alive. She's alive. They're going to burn Careful now. We just heard from the governor. The state's gonna send you to college. They're gonna pay for all of it. You're gonna be a teacher. Jesse, the night they rescued you, they... I know. I know. I just want to know where she is. She's home. She's home. 